So 2012 and 2023 have been the most difficult vintages we've ever had. Um, 2012, the issue is we had a lot of rain in the middle of harvest, so I suppose the same as 2023. So the Van der Constance, now I'll never forget, it's one of the greatest learning curves in my life is very young, very inexperienced. Um, our uh, MD at the time was Hans Astrom, who's a fantastic guy, a fantastic mentor in my life. Um, I went to him and the Van der Constance is almost right. It wasn't quite there, but it was almost there. And I said, Hans, we've got two weeks of rain coming in. Um, I'm too scared. I really want to pick the grapes. And he, he kind of looked at me and he said, Matt, what are you doing? Are we trying to make the best wine in the world or are we trying to play it safe? So you make the call, but uh, think about it, you know. Are we doing the best wine in the world or are we playing it safe? So we left it out and we landed, landed up leaving it for another three weeks. The problem was... Um, I landed up getting married on the 30th of April, uh, 30th of April and uh, the grapes pretty much weren't ready. We had land, we harvested the last of the Villa Constance on the 27th of April. I had my bachelor's on the 28th of April and got married on the 30th of April. So it was a crazy season. It's the latest harvest we've ever had, most difficult harvest. We had to press the grapes for a whole week to try and get any juice out of it. It was purely just a mush. And somehow I survived, and I, I blame that on ignorance because I didn't know any better. I just had to make it work. Um, but I was also very fortunate in those days. No, I just, just did it. Put your head down and have fun and go for it. 